Hi, this is Joe Renna, and this is Mind Your Own Local Business. I'm interviewing local businesses and community service organizations on how they're dealing with the coronavirus. Hopefully, this video can help them promote what they're doing. Okay, we're talking with Mark Sanger. He's a landscape oil painter and uh, my personal teacher. I met Mark when I started oil painting last year. And uh, since the coronavirus and uh, social distancing, he is now teaching online and we're gonna find out uh, what that's all about. First, I want Mark to give us a little bit of his background. Say hi, Mark. Hey, Joe, thanks for uh, inviting me on here. Appreciate that. Okay, why don't you tell us about uh, how you got into the painting and your story with Bob Ross. You are a certified Bob Ross artist. Yeah, that's true. So, um, yeah, so that's a, a great story. Thanks for asking that. And to, you know, be able to have met and study with Bob Ross, I mean, uh, that was a really a dream come true for me back in the early 90s. Um, you know, I've been watching uh, some TV shows with art and Bob was always coming on and I just said you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try and um, I called the the company <laughs> and uh, they said sorry you know he's not teaching anymore they're only looking for teachers and I said well I'm not interested in being a teacher ma'am you know uh, so I hung up so I told my friends ah oh, man you know I missed out on you know uh, hanging out with Bob and 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 learning how to paint from him because he only wants to to teach the teachers who want to teach his method. And all my friends are like, dude, why don't you just lie? Call back and tell him you want to be a teacher. <laughs> so that's that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I called back and said, yeah, I want to be a teacher. So lo and behold, I had to submit a couple of paintings and I, you know, <laughs> I bet I did 10 times to get good enough. And I submitted two, two of the paintings and then the rest is really, you know, my, my background and he started me out. I mean, um, you know, I studied with him for three weeks, became one of the certified teachers. Um, a couple of years after I started painting uh, in all the AC Moores, the Michaels, and then one place led to another. Next thing you know, I got over 20 stores that uh, that want me to teach in. So I became one of the, the, the leading um, Bob Ross teachers in, in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. There's a Bob Ross site I found with you on there. Let's paint happy trees .com. And there's a picture of you and Bob Ross. So tell us about your relationship with, with uh, Bob. I got a phone call from him about six months after, left a voicemail on my message and he was interested in actually working with me I had been a professional clown for, for many years, and he saw me making balloon animals and my personality. I guess he really enjoyed uh, watching me work with the other teachers and stuff in the class. So he offered me to work with him. He was opening a kind of a play about, um, it was called The Happy, you know, The Happy Painter. And I was going to work actually with the kids in Branson, Missouri. We were opening up a theater. So I would be working with the kids as my clown character and painting with him and his son and um, Dana Jester. So it was the four of us. But uh, shortly after that, that's um, about a year after that, I had got everything ready. I moved my wedding. I trademarked my face. Uh, my clown face, and uh, found a place to live. And then, um, um, sadly, you know, he passed away in in 1995, and uh, we never got to work together. But uh, that was a great part of my life. Uh, crazy, he picked me to work with him. So yeah, uh, that's how that was. disappointment. Not only you know losing a friend like Bob, but your 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 start of your career. Yeah, I mean, it was very sad. I mean. Uh, but at, at the same time, I smile now. I mean, I, who, who, like he picked me, <laughs> yeah. you know, so, uh, you know, and uh, I got a chance to, to talk to him almost uh, multiple times a week uh, after, after that first uh, call he left on my answer machine. He would tell me about the theater being built and, 
and I kept in touch with him until um, about probably a, just until the very end, like six months before he, he passed away. So it was great. I, it was really sad then, but but how many people can say that they actually uh, studied with Bob Ross, learned from Bob Ross, and became his personal friend? You know, so there you go. Yeah, I see a lot of fun photos on your website of you in his studio. Yeah, that was that that website's great. You got you can probably see, you know, Bob teaching. You get to see um, me receiving my diploma, you know, uh, from Bob. You get to see Steve Ross, who, who his son, giving me uh, another diploma that, you know, um, yeah, and you see him giving me my autographs on my books I purchased, me making balloon animals. It's great. It's a really, um, really good place to come and see some fun pictures and find out where I'm going to be after this whole shutdown happens, see where I'm teaching and um, come and take a class with me. I, I see that his estate still uh, manages his brand and you being a certified, one of the rare certified teachers, you can actually market yourself as a Bob Ross class. That's correct. And you, and if somebody else tries to do that, the company somehow will find your class that you're using his name. And if you're not a Bob Ross instructor, you will be shut down, which is, it's amazing to me because next thing you know, I, you know, I'm on the internet it says Bob Ross workshop. And it, I know it's not a certified teacher. And the next thing you know, <laughs> there's no, there's no sign of that class. So they must have somebody going through the internet looking for non-certified instructors, but I have the right uh, when I promote my class to use his name. So that's great, you know. I found you under MarkSagerStudios.com, your other website, and I want to show um, while we're speaking just a gallery of the of the paintings that you've done. So just yeah, that's great. I mean, that website is, um, you know, after studying with Bob Ross, uh, I decided that I was going to um, try to uh, learn traditional painting. I studied with some of the top landscape painters uh, to, to teach me how to, you know, take the Bob Ross technique further. And uh, I love it. I, I'm one of the rare guys, I think, that you could find that could actually teach you, teach the Bob Ross technique and do a really good job and you know come and hang out with me in a traditional class and um, understand you know what traditional painting's about so yeah thanks for finding it <laughs> so how's it working for you giving lessons over the internet and how does someone sign up and tell me how the process works um, i just made a few phone calls to a few of my uh, art friends that live in other states, and I said, "Hey, have you ever heard of this thing called Zoom?" And they were like, "No, no, yeah, we're 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 doing. I'm doing some classes on there, you know, just giving some lectures and letting people paint and doing a little class." And I said, "Well, you got to help me." And then what I do is I give a lecture, you know, with a PowerPoint presentation on the topic of the day. Like this Wednesday, this topic is going to be values, which I think are really really important. And um, and the next thing you know. Uh, they watch the lecture. Uh, I do a small demo sometimes, and then everybody paints, you know, on their own project. Uh, they show me through the camera. Uh, they they send me a picture that they're going to be working on, so I know exactly what they're doing. And then through the camera, I can show them where their you know mistake is, and everyone else can see the same uh, thing that I'm showing. So everyone's learning at the same time from everyone. And it makes everybody's been having a great time. I mean, I've done a couple already, and uh, and I just sent out a a newsletter, and um, I'm shocked at how many people really want to do these kind of lessons online. So it's been great, Joe, and and I'm going to continue doing them um, after this, you know, coronavirus is gone. I, I love doing it. It's fun. How could someone find uh, you online or sign up for your class? I think the easiest way to find me right now is through my website, which is, um, you know, MarkSangerStudio.com. Uh, so that's Mark, M-A-R-K, and then Sanger is spelt a little bit interesting. It's S as in Sam, A-E-N as in Nancy, G-E-R, 
and then studio.com. And they can just email me there that they are interested and I could talk with them through email or on the phone. How often are you uh, giving lectures? Yeah, right now we're um, starting, I'm doing one day a week right now, but that's uh, kind of filled up as far as I'm concerned. I don't want any more than, you know, uh, 10 people in a room. So I'm actually uh, past that right now with people wanting to come to another class. So um, I'm going to hopefully be doing a, uh, adding a night class and another day class. So um, see how that goes. And when someone signs on, what's their setup on their studio side? What do they need to be ready to take the class? Well, I mean, I've had some people just watch the class and not participate in painting. So you can do that because it's pretty educational. Class lasts a minimum of two hours. Uh, the last couple of sessions have been over uh, two hours. They've gone 220 and, and two and a half hours. Uh, and there's no increase in cost for that. Um, I charge $24, $24, and they don't need anything. I mean, uh, you want to paint, you just have your supplies out and you paint, you know, the project of your own choice. I don't tell you what to paint. Um, and that's the way it goes. You use watercolor. I, I got a Bob Ross student on there. I had uh, people just watching and everybody's working on their own thing. And it's just been great, you know. Uh you have a newsletter that goes out? Yeah, Joe. I mean, uh, on my website, on the MarkSangerStudio.com website, you just go hit where it says newsletter and, and put your information in there. And um, then the next time I'm doing, a, you know, a project or a class, a workshop, I, I have my next gallery opening with my, you know, some of my paintings. Uh, you guys be invited and um, everybody can find out what I'm doing. So that's that's a great place to see what's up. After Bob Ross, you said you you did some classical training. What, what was that? What does that mean? And what does that entail? Hmm. You know, Joe, that's that's a really good question, because, you know, this is how I found out about about the Bob Ross technique and traditional art. I took my paintings to a gallery and I had about six paintings that I painted in the Bob Ross technique. And I brought the paintings in and the guy was like, oh, great, you got some paintings. And and he said to me when I showed him, he goes, these are really nice, but, you know, they're like the Bob Ross technique. And I said, well, what do you mean the Bob Ross technique? And he says, you know, like the guy from TV, I'm looking for somebody who paints more like Monet or Van Gogh, their own technique. And I asked him, where can I go and study what you're talking about? And he said, well, one of the best schools is probably in Scottsdale, Arizona called the Scottsdale Artist School, and that's what I did. I I found a private teacher here in Summit uh, that I studied with for five years, and I used to fly out to Scottsdale, Arizona to take workshops to learn more about the traditional painting. So, so just, to sh just to show folks the difference between Bob Ross and the traditional, these are some Bob Ross-style paintings that you've done that we're looking at now. Correct. Yes. Yes, they are. And that's um, the trist, right. Perfect technique is bushes. You know how to get the trees, the mountains, the skies and, um, you know, using the brush almost like a stamp to create textures and patterns of color. But um, if you watch Bob on TV and then you look at some of my stuff, I mean, people say, wow, you come really close to, you know, getting getting it like him i say yeah i can't get it like him but it does come close when you do your bob ross classes live what do mm -hmm. folks do folks have to bring the equipment and paint? yeah that, that yeah that's a that's a really good question so m most of the time when i do a workshop in public uh the student actually brings nothing the cost is you know the it's not I don't set the, the, the cost the the place that I work for at that particular day sets the cost uh, and the people bring nothing. We supply the canvas, the paint, the brushes for that day. They just bring a lunch, some water and the desire to have a fun day and learn the Bob Ross technique and they go home with a painting. They follow me step by step just like 
they would Bob on TV. It lasts, uh, like we're looking at a 10 to four uh, day, 10 o'clock in the morning we start. We, we usually take a, a half an hour for lunch and we usually wrap up about four in the afternoon and they go home with the painting. So it's fun, great day. Hopefully <laughs> the coronavirus crisis uh, eases up and we're able to go live in the studio. But in the meantime, we'll uh, check you out online and sign up for some of your classes. And so if folks want to do a Bob Ross style painting, they can, or if they want to do a traditional, they can, or if they want to do a still life, they can, whatever they want to do. Yeah, yeah, you can paint, you can paint a still life if you want. You can do Bob Ross, watercolor, acrylic. I can help you with um, anything you, you want to uh, be helped with that day that you're working on. Even I, I was working uh, with a student the other time, they were doing a, a really awesome uh, palette knife painting uh, all with the palette knife and um, yeah, came out great. Well, great. Well, stay safe and I will definitely uh, be attending your class online until I can attend it live. And, <laughs> thanks, uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. You're always fun in class. So thanks for having an interest in my classes. I appreciate you. I appreciate the time uh, to do this with you too. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you again. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Mind Your Own Local Business. Please like, share, and add a comment. And please hit the subscribe button. If you would like your business or community service organization featured on the show, email me at joerenna at rennamedia.com. Renna Media publishes 21 community newspapers. We mail to every home and business in the 21 towns, a total of 135,000 papers each month. Visit our website, renamedia.com, for more information. Thank you.